Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to find the inverse of a function. What is an inverse? An inverse of a function is a function that reverses or undoes the function. In other words, the domain or input of a function is the range or output of the inverse. And the range or output of the function is the domain or output of the inverse. Here are some images to help you better understand this description and what an inverse is. In order to find an inverse of a function, first replace y for f of x if needed. Next, solve for x. Then substitute y for x and x for y. Finally, check to see if the inverse is right by using either of these equations. It is important to note that some functions have more than one inverse. Let's see an example of what I'm talking about. If we have a function x squared plus 4, when we plug in 1 and negative 1 for x, then we get the same output, 5. So for the inverse of this function, if we plug in 5 for x, then the inverse outputs two values, negative 1 and 1. So there are two inverses. Let's see some examples. First example, find the inverse of the function 3x plus 5. First, we replace f of x with y. So we have y equals 3x plus 5. Next step, we want to solve for x. So we subtract 5 from both sides, and then we divide both sides by 3. Next step, we want to substitute x with y and y with x. So we have y equals x minus 5 over 3, and this is the inverse. Finally, we will check that the inverse is correct using this equation. We plug the inverse in for x and f of x, and it equals x. So, x minus 5 over 3 is the inverse. Next example. Find the inverse of the function, the square root of x plus 3. First, we replace f of x with y, so we have y equals the square root of x plus 3. Next step, we want to solve for x. So we square both sides of the equation, and then subtract 3 from both sides. Next step, we want to substitute x with y and y with x. So we have y equals x squared minus 3, and this is the inverse. Finally, we will check that the inverse is correct using this equation. We plug the inverse in for x and f of x, and it equals x. So, x squared minus 3 is the inverse. Last example. Find the inverse of the function 2x squared minus 2. First, we replace f of x with y, so we have y equals 2x squared minus 2. Next step. We want to solve for x, so we add 2 to both sides. Then we divide each side by 2 and take the square root of each side. Next step, we want to substitute x with y and y with x. So we have y equals plus minus the square root of x plus 2 over 2, and this is the inverse. Finally, we will check that the inverse is correct using this equation. We plug the inverse in for x and f of x, and it equals x. So, plus minus the square root of x plus 2 over 2 is the inverse. As long as you remember the steps for finding the inverse of a function, finding the inverse is not difficult. For more practice or help on this topic, visit www.simulab.com and click on the Practice tab.